I am wing leader Roman Alexandria of the Gorin Gold Squadron. With whom am I speaking? I am Captain Tol Shud of the Tancred Frigate Kuntal. Oh, I will die before I surrender to you. Fire if you must, but know that I die with my Tancred honor and dignity. You are brave, like all Tancred warriors, Captain Shud. I do not request your surrender. I have come to communicate with you peacefully. I speak on behalf of the Gorian Empire. Our goal is to live in peaceful coexistence with the Tancreds and all races of the Ascalon Rift. We are here to help the races of this region, not to fight a bloody war against them. We offer our assistance, wisdom, and friendship. We have the power to conquer this region through force, but bloodshed is not the answer. I ask you to speak to the Tancred leaders and tell them of my message. We have used force. We will use force if we must, but that is not our intention. We want to forge new alliances that will revitalize the entire Ascalon Rift. Accept our presence and let us enlighten you. The Tancreds despise the Green's presence in this region. You are enemies, trespassers. Ah, but you speak with an air of wisdom, Alexandria. You could destroy my ship, but uh, instead you speak of peace. I uh, believe uh, Zimlock, our leader, may wish to meet with you in a neutral setting. When asked, I will tell those who question me that you acted honorably. I give you my word that you will return to Orentes safely. There will be no further attacks against your vessel. Perhaps we will meet again, Alexandria. Meanwhile, as wing leader Roman Alexandria and the others begin their journey back to AR-1, Fleet Commander Dithmar Farand issues a surprising new order. Attack the Kuntau? You can't be serious. Alexandria gave Captain Shud his word that he wouldn't be attacked. How can our mission be peaceful coexistence if we fire on a defenseless frigate? I received new information. I wasn't aware that ship was carrying arms supplies to Arentes. The Kuntau is carrying food, Commander Farrand, not weapons. Stop being naive, Fulcher. That ship is loaded with weapons. Weapons that are going to be used against us. You have no proof of that. I have reliable sources. Besides, we have no time to negotiate. We must use force. The Tancreds need to be shown that we have a stronger force than they do. Destroying the Kuntau is the best way to teach them that lesson. Admiral Shiloh won't agree. Destroying a defenseless cargo ship doesn't teach them anything. How dare you! You face a court-martial if you defy my orders. I am your superior officer. Remember that! Now assemble a squadron and give orders to destroy the Kuntau. What's going on? I gave Shud my word that there would be no attack, and you issue orders to destroy the Kuntau. Are you mad? Calm down, Roman. Farrand gave the order. I had no choice but to follow it. We're not cold-blooded killers, Bloys. I thought we wanted a peaceful resolution to this conflict. You've made me look like a liar in front of the squadron. Farrand doesn't believe peace is possible. He thinks we have to use force to accomplish Admiral Shiloh's goal of resolving this matter in three months. The others aren't going to agree with or respect the change of orders. You preach to us about peaceful coexistence, and then you issue an order to destroy a defenseless ship, its captain and crew. It's wrong, boys. Ferran has made us look like murderers. I agree. But we have to follow the orders of our superior officer. We can't change that fact. Let's be patient and see where Farron leads us. Let me handle the morale of the squadron. I'll let the squadron know that you had no knowledge of the change in orders.